Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is take a look at these garage door openers. The nice thing about garage door openers is that you can find them on garbage day and they are an excellent source of scrappable material. They come in different sizes and weights and these ones right here weigh about 25 pounds each. This one about 30. I just finished a video on an older one. It was a little bit larger, weighed 45 pounds just from the box. And all of these have great scrappable material in them. There is a nice copper motor inside of them, a really nice appliance wire, some brass, some silver, and these are very easy to take apart. So gonna do that in this video, show you how to identify the material, and more importantly, separate it properly, maximize your profit, and divert as much of this away from the landfill. So the full breakdown of the older style that I have, I will include the link in my description. It was, was a little bit more tricky and that was just because I had it behind my shed for about a year and a half. So the weather did take effect. It did have a little bit of corrosion, uh, but no matter, all of them, excellent items. These ones we'll look at first. And the great thing also about garage door openers is that sometimes they do contain or will have the track that goes with it. So the track is this huge uh, metal pole here. And I actually cut this into three parts. This came from my old one. All of these did not have this, but this right here, a great score as well. As you can see, if I put it up to the camera, it is thick metal. And this would be classified as steel at a scrapyard. Any metal that is thicker than a quarter inch is gonna be steel. So a lot of your structural beams, trampoline poles, another great item that would be steel. Um, as well, the other models did also contain the chain as well as the pull cord uh, and handle. So all of that was scrappable material. And I do wanna make sure I point out safety concerns. If you do find a garage door opener that is still intact with the track and the chain, please do not just go ahead and cut the chain with a grinder or a hacksaw or what have you. That does contain a tremendous amount of pressure and tension. And if you were to just cut that chain, that chain would fly out and possibly hit you or someone else. So there is a nut that you just have to loosen. It will release the tension. And once that tension's gone, you can go ahead and proceed to cut it with a grinder or just pull it off the track. It's up to you, but please be careful of that. Um, these ones, as I said, do not have that chain. That chain would have been tin. And just to show you these ones right here, again, this is 30 pounds. This is does have on the bottom, you can see some metallic attraction or magnetic attraction. This shell here, right here, or this plate is going to be classified as tin. Tin right now giving me about 10 to 14 cents a pound in London, Ontario. So still a great price, just a little bit cheaper than or less than steel. The top here, unfortunately, is plastic. And here, I don't have um, a recycle program at the scrapyard for plastic. I do know some of my viewers out east, on the east coast, can bring in plastic to a scrapyard and get plastic weight price, which is awesome. Uh, I am gonna try and put this into my recycle bin. However, uh, it does depend on the uh, recycling program you have. Sometimes they will look at it, they will reject it. And if so, it will go in the garbage. But that is unfortunate and it is definitely something plastic we do need to try and find alternatives for. Um, these two were exactly the same. I did find both of these at the same house and that's another nice thing about garage door openers. Some people will replace them at the same time. And for this video, I have removed the plastic. But look inside of this one, does have a nice motor. This one has a nice circuit board that I'm going to look at. Some really nice tin. And I do want to just very quickly show you an older style. This one actually weighs about 40 pounds. Uh, very nice. Look at the size of that copper motor inside of it. Look at the nice brass that you see at the top here. Uh, and I'm not going to open this one for this video, but this one actually contained a magnetic shell. This is a, a lift master. So this would be classified as tin. Any type of your outer panels on appliances, um, your ovens, uh, 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 dishwashers, sorry, not dishwashers, uh, washing machines, dryers, uh, this, microwaves, this would be tin, tin or shred. And we call it shred here in Southwestern Ontario. Um, it just depends on your scrapyard, but tin or shred is the same thing. I do know some of my viewers have said, well, what's shred? 
It's just a category and a scrapyard. So again, not going to touch this one, but I do also want to show the last thing. This was from the other old one that I had, the large one that I have a full breakdown on. But look at that beautiful brass, these prongs here, lots of nice yellow brass. This is all going for $3.05 a pound. Some silver relay boxes in there, some relay uh, silver dots on that. So really nice items for sure. This one, as mentioned, I'm gonna look at this one first. And as you can see, the first thing has a really nice appliance wire. Uh, and someone asked me on a video, how do I remove it from the casing? Instead of just cutting uh, this to remove it, they want to get the whole thing. So very easy. All I actually do is I will put it up to my vise like this just to hold it for um, support. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver that I have here. And I'm actually just going to break that plastic uh, with a hammer. So I'm going to put some safety glasses on uh, and just so I can remove the entire um, wire. But just taking, as I said, a large flathead. Gonna put it up against that plastic. I got this against my vise here for support, but I'm just gonna crack this, get it under. So that's one way. The other way is I'm just gonna take it on the top, crack that plastic. There we go, pops it through. And now all I'm gonna do is just cut it because it is already fed through. Okay, so there you go. You can see now the hole. There is a hole there. There is my wire, okay? So this wire here is gonna be actually classified as 60% appliance wire. This is going right now in London, Ontario for $2.45 a pound. This one here, this is a little bit lower grade. This again is gonna be classified as 40% because it does have the outer coating on it. So any type of microwave cords, vacuum cleaner cords, dehumidifier cords, and these, because it has an extra uh, casing of plastic, lower copper recovery. But again, this is going for $1.45 a pound in London, Ontario, so still an excellent score. But you do want to make sure you separate it to maximize that profit. And I also actually, on the bottom, you can see that those brass prongs, some people leave these on for the weight. I do snap those off. I will put this into brass at $3.05 a pound. I look long term. Some people just look at that and say, well, that's not really a lot of black brass. And it might not be for one cord, but given the amount of cords you find, I have a huge bucket so far just of brass prongs and it will add up over time. Uh, but again, it does depend on you and the type of scrapper you are. But again, coated brass is the same category as yellow brass. You don't have to separate them. So $3.05 a pound for this. And this cord probably weighs almost a pound, so that's great. Okay, so all I have left on this one is just a little bit of plastic. So just gonna move these so I have some workspace. Okay, uh, just going ahead right now, there is just this little one. Got one more bolt in this that I wanna get. So again, a little bit of plastic, but it does have a nice light socket here. My, all my screws I will keep. So I always have a magnet on my bench here. Okay, just gonna pull these little prongs out, slide this light bulb out, or light fixture, sorry. Just gonna snap it out of there. And it's just attached a little bit by plastic. There we go. Wow, that's stubborn. <laughs> But so am I. There we go. Okay, so a little bit of plastic, unfortunately. But again, my light bulb outlet does have, you can see, a little bit of copper in there, a little bit of brass, and I will take that. I'm just going to break that open with a hammer. Another person uh, commented on their video saying a lot of times they will also look at good items like lamps. People sometimes overlook these, but again, there, these ones have aluminum inside. This one did not, okay? But this one was the older style. That casing underneath there, you can see the metallic look. That is aluminum. And I will smash this plastic with a hammer, get that clean aluminum. It's not heavy, but it still weighs about, uh, you know, an ounce uh, or, you know, so it does add up for sure. Uh, but again, it is about 55 cents a pound for clean aluminum. There is also some brass in there. 
uh, as well as some copper. So I do get those as well. There is also a little bit of tin on here that you see. So as a scrapper, you want to get as much as you can. Uh, so lamps for sure. And as well, I also will check the light bulbs. I have found tons of light bulbs that work perfectly fine. Um, you know, why buy more if I don't have to? Okay, so lots of wire here. Just gonna go ahead right now and pull out the circuit board. Okay, the other one did not have such a high-tech circuit board. This one does. So I think that is where we are going anyway with the future is more circuit boards. Okay, and circuit boards are still an excellent item to get this circuit board. Once I remove it, there is a couple bolts. Just getting them right now. Okay, there's a couple screws holding this in. Okay, but just want to take this and turn it up to the camera. Okay, the bottom shell here is again just all tin. Just gonna start cutting some of this cord just to get it off of here. And I will get all of it later. But this does have right here a really nice aluminum heat sink. This right here, if I put a magnet to that, you can see that is aluminum. So this is gonna be clean aluminum. This again, as I said, 50 cents a pound. And these prongs that you see here, these black prongs, these are connected to this heat sink as well. There are a couple on the circuit board that you see where my finger is right there. You do want to pull those off. Those do have a little bit of copper inside of it. Uh, and you do have right here a nice, I call them copper donuts as well as a small transformer. You have a couple nice relay boxes here that will contain a little spool of copper inside as well as some silver. I'm just trying to see if I have one on me. I don't. Okay. But what I want to do with this is I want to make sure that I pull as much of this stuff off as I can. If I was to bring this to the scrap yard here where I am, uh, I only get five cents a pound for this, regardless of what's on it. And it is going to be worth a lot more money taking the time to separate these items. The aluminum, the copper, the transformer, and the great thing about that is once I remove the things that I want off of here, depopulate this board, I can still bring the remainder part of this board into my scrapyard and get the five cents a pound for e-waste. Uh, so that is great. I'm not losing anything. Uh, and I do also want to make sure I pull off all of my wire. Okay, so first thing I just want to do is again, is I'm just going to quickly show you. Okay, there are a couple bolts holding this in and I will get those out later, but Again, these guys right here, I have a whole bucket of these. And I did have one of my viewers say that they don't get um, number two copper for these. They say there's too much plastic on these. And again, if I was them, I would check other scrapyards. Given the price and demand for copper, it is going to be you know, something that a buyer will take for sure so just gonna try and get this one out for you just to show you I have a huge bin of these just actually been saving them up because again in our scrappers life copper is our scrappers gold okay so just gonna show you one of these gonna break it open just to show you with a hammer okay put up against my vice that's all I'm going to do is just show you. I've already snapped the top. See the copper look here. So again, there is that is all copper inside of there. So for that viewer, if you are getting rejected these types of prongs, I would make sure that I go somewhere else because you are going to find a buyer. So again, number two copper and currently number two copper going for $4.37 a pound. This copper as well, I just pull this off and I do have a full video on uh, circuit boards, breakdowns, um, looking at depopulating circuit boards. There are right here, that orange little guy there is called a ceramic capacitor. Um, there is other items on here that is good for micro scrapping. So again, these orange guys looking for any MLCCs. Right there, I did have one of my viewers ask me, can I do a close up of an MLCC? So right where my finger is right there, that little rectangle with the brown um, square on it. That's an MLCC. Those will contain or can contain palladium. 
Uh, and if you just take a flathead screwdriver, scrape that off, it's very easy to do. But again, I will show, uh, or I will include in my link a, um, uh, in the description for depopulating boards, very worthwhile. Again, there is also a crystal oscillator, so these things can contain silver, uh, as well as my relay boxes here. I have a few of them here that contain copper, as well as a silver uh, little dot in there. So get that copper for sure. Get those precious metals. Get all of that wire. And again, I'm still going to get five cents a pound for the rest of this e-waste, okay? And a really nice piece of aluminum, okay? So last thing on here that I have, just gonna see if I can get to my motor. Some motors, again, will have different styles. This one here may just be uh, an inner core. Uh, some of them have, you know, just the armature, or uh, yes, the armature. Um, so just gonna open this to see what I have. There's a couple of screws left. Smaller motor for sure than the older one that I have. That older one that has the motor, that had about uh, almost uh, a pound of copper, so number two copper. This one, again, does depend on the style of motor. And I think also the size of your motor, the power that you have from it. Yep, there it is. So this one, you can see right here, there is a couple small little spools of copper. I will get that. And this armature here, I am gonna take it off. I do have a full breakdown of armatures, uh, how to open these, and some of them are definitely worth opening for that copper. Some of them, they are easy to do actually, um, but some of them are actually just worth taking in as is. Uh, I'm just gonna hopefully get this one off for you so I can show you. Hopefully this releases it. There we go, last one. Another screw. Hopefully this will pop this out. But I do again have a full breakdown of opening armatures. Get that number two copper, come on. This is held in pretty good. Trying to think where it is. Well, I just might have to just start taking screws off wherever I can. I might have to do with that. And that's what's kind of neat about scrapping is different models, different styles. You know, it does take a little bit of time and brain to figure out how to open these and, you know, what bolt needs to be removed and how to strategically do it without breaking everything. So that's why part of the reason I enjoy scrapping is it does give me a little bit of mental workout. All right, last one I'm hoping. Okay, so this cap, there we are, the bottom as well. So lots of different bolts take keeping this in. And there are obviously different styles. I will put as well in my link the teardown of different motors because there are different motors and I will show you how to open armatures for sure. But last one here, you can see it moving, feel it moving. There we go. So again, all of these bolts are gonna be going into a bucket. I have a nice bucket of screws and nuts that come off of different scrapping. Wanna make sure that I secure them properly, transport them. Okay, so again, Nice little tin, five, or a 10 to 14 cents a pound for this. Want to make sure you get off that wire. Okay. This armature does have some clean cast aluminum here that I am going to take off once I remove this. So there is going to be a couple pieces that I have to break off. But notice this armature does have some really nice copper inside of it. And they do contain, this is number two copper. So again, I do pull that out. I will get that copper and I will show you how to do so. Um, this cast aluminum, once I remove all of the magnetic attraction, I'm gonna get um, 45 to 50 cents a pound for clean cast. If I was to bring this armature in, in I'm gonna get copper motor price. It's about uh, 15 to 20 cents a pound, and this probably weighs a pound and a half, 
But again, that number two copper going for $4.37 a pound, better worth my time and effort. Uh, and I just put it into a bag, it will add up. I will also, as I mentioned, get these um, copper prongs or copper spools. And there are as well as attached, you can just see where my finger is. That is uh, a connector to the armatures. That is brass and there are always two of them. So you can see one here and one here. So yellow brass on that as well. Uh, I am gonna have to just hopefully pop this off. There might be a screw hidden. There it is right there. I can see it right underneath that copper spool. So I will do that in a bit. I do have to remove that copper spool, but this will pop off. And again, easy to remove this big um, cylindrical piece of steel out of there. Again, that is thicker than quarter inch, so that would be a piece of steel, uh, but that copper for sure I'm gonna get. And the rest of the shell, once I remove that copper, gonna just throw this shell into my tin. So still getting money for it, uh, but better to maximize my profit by separating it. So that's my garage door opener. Again, very easy to open. A little bit of plastic, unfortunately, but lots of tin, a nice copper motor. This shell does have some ferrite in it. Uh, you can see the edges there. I just leave that in there. I'm gonna get tin price for this. Uh, okay, so this again weighs probably another pound, pound and a half. It is a nice heavy piece. Some nice circuit board, lots of great appliance wire. Again, this is gonna be my 40% appliance wire going for $1.45 a pound. Some 60% wire going for $2.45 a pound. Some e-waste, some silver, a little bit of brass prongs on here. And again, another item found on garbage day and more importantly, diverted from the landfill and made a little scrap value. So hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please continue with the questions, comment down below, stay well, happy scrapping, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tim Man out.